Hello everyone, this is Jozef Nagy here and today I would like to talk to you about something that is very important to me. Now maybe you are a newcomer to OpenFoam and you want to learn something about OpenFoam or you are an advanced user but you will I didn't have the time to check out certain features of OpenFoam and you, now you want to start with that and you're taking a look at the features that OpenFoam offers or the release notes and you think to yourself, wow, this is exactly what I need, what I want for my CFD project. This is exactly that. But that's so powerful, that's so huge. Now, where do I start? And this is exactly what I would like to talk to you about today. If you no, don't know me, my name is Josef Neut. I studied physics at the Vienna University of Technology and did my PhD in chemical engineering also at the Vienna University of Technology. And currently I'm, emplo I'm employed at uh, Johannes Kepler University in Linz in Austria as a postdoc. You might know my YouTube channel and as of this week uh, the, the channel registered over 400,000 views in overall since the start three years ago and we now have over 3,600 subscribers and the channel registers approximately 500 views every day approximately. And by now I have over eight year in, years of experience in teaching and training with OpenFoam and also providing custom CFD applications to project partners to customers. And in all those three topics, there is one common theme. How do I transfer the knowledge, the know-how to the customer, to the students, to the project partners? And I, as... Um, experienced user always uh, get the same questions at the beginning if somebody wants to start with open form questions like oh, next week i'd have some time can you teach me open form or how difficult is it to learn open form or how much time does it take to learn open form and it's really difficult to answer those questions because yes open form is an expert tool and the learning curve at the beginning is very steep we all know that and it was true 10 years ago that you really needed the help of an experienced user do during the first step on a daily or at least semi-daily basis. So you can overcome the difficulties at the beginning. But today that's not true anymore. And also newcomers to OpenFoam have some reservations regarding Linux, uh, regarding using the terminal and also programming. And that really a better question that newcomer can ask me as a, an experienced user is, where can I start with OpenFoam actually? And this is a question that is very interesting. And I myself as an experienced user have to ask myself, how can I, and also in general experienced users, how can we provide a guideline to overcome those first difficulties? As I mentioned 10 years ago, you really needed an experienced user. But luckily, in the last couple of years, uh, material have been po popping up all over the internet. But the problem is a newcomer has difficulties to find all the, uh, the available material. And also, it's also difficult to know in which order a, a user should go through those training materials. So my first logical idea was to just collect available, openly available teaching material and training material into one location. And with this idea, I contacted approximately 40 community members last year, as well as the colleagues at OpenCFD to start a conversation about exactly this. What could this location look like? What could the framework of such a collection of tutorials look like? With the goal, and this is made the most important point here, with the goal of this tutorial collection that you, dear OpenFoam user, can gain the knowledge and the experience about the basics of CFD and OpenFoam so you 
can come to the point where you can start with your own CFD project. So this tutorial collection will not solve your actual problem, but you will gain the knowledge and the experience so you can start with your project. And with this, we started last year in August and we set up the collection in August and September as a joint project between the community and OpenCFD. And you can find this under wiki.openform.com slash tutorials. I will show you this page after this slide. And currently we have over 80 or 90 tutorials, depending on what you see as a tutorial, what you see as only a tip. We have over 80 or 90 tutorials by 25 contributors. And at this point, I would like to thank all the contributors because without them, this would not be possible. And everybody is very, very welcome to join and contribute. We set up an editorial board for this tutorial collection, which we uh, placed on the, the foundation of MediaWiki, which we use as a tool for this collection. And we established an editorial board for a very simple reason, to maintain the high quality of the tutorials. So the members of the editorial board will remind contributors if there are some dead links or if the material is outdated and we will review new material and help and support uh, sub, uh, contributors to set up a page, a wiki uh, tutorial page. Now let me show you what this looks like. I hope that you know this homepage, this is openform.com. This is where you can download the latest release version 17.06 of OpenCFD. And if you move your cursor further down to tutorial wiki and you click, click on tutorial wiki, then you are taken to the uh, tutorial collection. If you can't, uh, click here to, on tutorials, now you have it. Here you see a certain series that we set up, the name of the contributors, you might know some of those names, and the members of the editorial board. Andy Heather from OpenCFD and myself, we are having this initiative. Matej Forman from OpenCFD is a member of the board, then Joel Guerrero from the University of Genoa and Wolf Dynamics, Miguel Nobrega from the University of Minho, who organized the last Open Form workshop last year in Portugal, Stefan Radl from the University, Technical University of Graz, Sergei Strihak from Moscow, Peter Unterlechner from Audi, and Alexander Vakrushev from the University of Leoben. If you want to contribute, we set up an extra section on, the, on some mild conditions that we set up but they are really just uh, common sense. And I guess you are interested in the tutorial series that themselves. We set up a first glimpse series, which is what the name says, a first glimpse into OpenFOAM, where you can check out OpenFOAM if you have a day or half a day. These are four tutorials. You will not learn OpenFOAM with these tutorials, but you will get a very good idea, a very good feeling about the workflow of OpenFOAM and what's possible in OpenFOAM. So if you want to check out OpenFOAM, this is where you should go. Also, we set up a three week series here where you, dear OpenFOAM user, can systematically build up your knowledge and your experience to come to the point so you can start with your own CFD project. So if you're interested in everything, then you can start with day one and go through uh, till day 15 in your own pace. You can do it in 15 days, you can do it in 10 days if you have the time, or you can do it in 30 days. This is completely up to you. This is just a suggestion. Or if you're only interested in certain topics, like for example, turbulence modeling, then start with day one, go over the basic tutorials until day six, for example, and then go for that specific topic that you are interested in. So for example, day eight was turbulence modeling. And if you come here and if you're interested, for example, around the flow around the cylinder, the square cylinder, then this is what you will find. This is a typical tutorial page here. You can click 
on this link, which will bring you to a PDF file, for example, in this case, and then you can go through that PDF file. Or often you will find a link to a case that you download so you can do the tutorial yourself. And I would like to draw your attention to our five point system where we clearly state the name of the contributor, the affiliation, the contact address, the open form version for which this tutorial was proven to work for, and also the license under which the contributor was willing to um, upload this tutorial. And with this, we would like to credit each uh, individual contributor. In this case, this was a PDF. If I go, for example, here in day seven, you might know this tutorial. Uh, if you click here, in this case, you will be taken to a um, YouTube page where you will find a screencast. So this is our three week series. If you really like the style of a certain contributor, you can go for the collection by contributors and you can go through all the tutorials of this certain contributor. Our latest addition is the collection by topic. If I cl click on here, then you will find a collection uh, regarding different topics and we collected our tutorials. For example, or our turbulence modeling tutorials can be found here and you can go all of the tutorials. And I would like to also draw your attention to our further reading section where we now want to add for example, publications or, and also theses, PhD theses, maybe even master theses in this to certain topic. So if you finished all the tutorials and you want to go one step further, then you can go for those specific publications, for example, in this topic in open form. And we also set up a tip section where you will find very useful tips so you can run your simulation. If I come back here, now I am in the position to talk already about past developments. And as I mentioned, we set up the collection by topic and also the further reading sections. And we decided in the editorial board that we will ask contributors to update their material to the recent versions of OpenFOAM. And I always get the question what that means. And as of today, these uh, versions are for the foundation version of OpenFOAM version 4.1 and version 5.0, versions 1612 plus and 1706 from OpenCFD's version and the foam extend versions 3.2 and 4.0. If I understand correctly, a new foam extent versions will come out soon. So we will ask uh, contributors to update to the latest or the second latest version once a year and they can choose when either around the summer break or around Christmas. And authors can choose when they want to do that. Presently we were collaborating with the open form workshop which uh, was um, uh, in Exeter, in Great Britain, we, where we offered to host training material on the wiki, where the idea was so attendees can go in the training session and then download, open the, the laptop, download the material and start with the uh, training without having to boot a live USB stick. And we also offer uh, trainers to the possibility to upload their material to the tutorial collection after the workshop and integrate it into the collection. And we also uh, want to offer this support for future workshops and not just the, the open form workshops, but also conferences specifically in open form or national user meetings, because I know that some national user meetings offer workshops. So if you organize a user meeting, then feel free to contact us. We can upload material or put links to materials where then your attendees can download them uh, uh, in a fast manner and then 
we can up upload the, the links or the material for the duration of the user meeting or if you want then we can also integrate them into the tutorial collection but this is uh, completely up to you and as I, uh, as I already mentioned now, if you want to submit a new tutorial, then we, you have the possibility to directly upload the material to the tutorial collection, or we can just put links to your server, to your homepage, uh, to your GitHub account, wherever you want to store your material, and then people will be led to your page over the tutorial collection. And also we would like to further extend the collection, the further reading section, for example, with further publication, with further theses. We would also like to introduce media tools. So if somebody really likes PDFs, then they can go for the PDFs. If somebody likes uh, screencasts, then they can go for the screencasts. And we also want to introduce a certain kind of indexing system so you can easily find certain tutorials or certain topics. And we aim for a slow but steady growth of the collection. We do not want to rush it and finish it within a month and then say that's it for the next four or five years. We will update the uh, homepage, we will add tutorials to the tutorial wiki, um, but we aim for a slow and steady growth. We do not want to rush it. And regarding my YouTube tutorials, I will also update the materials on this tutorial wiki. Uh, my old videos are for the version 2.3 and it is a, it would be a lot of work to redo all the videos for every new release. I cannot do that, I don't have the time for that. But usually there's a, there are only small syntax differences between versions and I will post them. Maybe I show you this here. You might have seen it before. If we go for my tutorial here on day seven, I post entries in here in the bottom. Uh, if there are differences regarding uh, uh, 2.3. For example, the block mesh dict file uh, used to be in constant, poly in constant and uh, polymesh, and now you can find the block mesh dict in system in recently releases. So these syntax changes will be posted here on the tutorial wiki. So if you go for the tutorials, then you can come back here and then see if there are some syntax changes for your newest release. Future and future steps. I would like to ask myself the question how I and we experienced user can provide a guideline to overcome not only the first difficulties, but difficulties in open form in general. How can we improve user experience in open form? And with this uh, tutorial collection and with uh, the YouTube channel, we have now the possibility to get a feedback from your side. And this is very important to you because if you give us feedback, then we can recircle that in the first step into the tutorial collection. I can recircle that into my uh, videos. But since we are in cooperation with OpenCFD, we can recircle your feedback to your later user experience. So please give us feedback. If you like something, you think we should go in this direction or we should go in some other direction, please give us feedback. And also one certain example of that is, for example, you now go through all my tutorials, my video tutorials, but your CFD project doesn't start tomorrow or next week, but maybe in three weeks or in six months. But the question is how can I, as an experienced user, plant the seeds, so set up the tutorial in a way so you, dear OpenFOAM user, can come back in three months, in six months and immediately restart and immediately implement the knowledge and the experience that you gain today. And if you're interested in this question, then I would like to draw your attention to my next 
full tutorial. And I gave this uh, as a training session at the last uh, open form workshop in Exeter entitled Multiphase Simulation Project, where I want you, I want to show you, dear open form user, how you can set up an entire simulation project from the geometry over mesh setup, mesh creation, case setup, running the simulation up until the evaluation of the results. And as I mentioned, I gave this as a training session and I will make a tutorial on, on this channel about this. So if you're interested in that, then please stay tuned. A tutorial will come in the next weeks. And as an outlook, please, I would like to ask you to contact us. You can contact us at wiki at openform.com now. If you have a submission that you want to uh, contribute to the collection, please send us a mail and we can support you with that. If you have a certain uh, publication or a thesis, you just uh, finished your PhD thesis and you want to add this to our further reading section, then please contact us under wiki at openform.com. We can add your publication, we can, the quotation of your publication or your thesis to the further reading section. Again, very important point is if you have a feedback, please write us a mail. If you have an opinion, a suggestion for improvements, send us a mail also. And also as a, the last point, please use it. I always get uh, the question if you are allowed to use this tutorial collection for a lecture at the university. Of course, this is there to be used. And also please spread the word that now there is one location where newcomers can start gaining the knowledge and the experience so they can come to the point so you, dear open from uh, user, can start with your own CFD project. So with this, I hope that you are interested in this tutorial collection and then you you can you will check it out at least and i would like to thank you for watching and listening and i hope to see you next time